Dina and I am from Idaho and this is my Bushwhacker 10FB 2021. Okay, so one of the first things we did was the Jackie up because we're pulling with a low tow vehicle, an Outback. And we're in the mountains of Idaho, not right now, but when we tow in the mountains of Idaho, sometimes when we're turning around, absolutely hitting the jack on mountain and i had the same issues now can you get the lift gate on your subaru open yes you take it out so that's another huge yes. huge benefit so they've seen that before i yes. uh, i did a video on that but what a nice mod and, and that's where i found a oh. out about it <laughs> well very good they, yes. they owe me a cut then dang brian <laughs> yeah and my husband said it was like are you watching Brian again? <laughs> like, uh -huh. This is this is what I've been hearing the whole rally is I cost people a lot of money. So I love the setup on the front because it's simple yes. and it just it does what you need. So that milk carton, you have that strapped down or can it come off? It is, it can come off. Just removing the bungee. No, that's okay. Same yep. setup. Yep. yep. And then same with this. I, d I have a helmet um, net, bungee Very net. Very smart. So we have it strapped down and I can unstrap it pretty easy. So I really like this because I went through a couple different types of mesh and they wear out in the sun. The helmet mesh is designed to be outdoors. Yes. So it's got some UV protection. And it's Harbor Freight. So I see you started on your stickers. Yes. You've abbreviated to the bushwhack. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then this side, I just got hack. No. <laughs> yeah. You got to make it your own. It, it's. It's done for now. Perfect. Good enough. And then I, um, we put the red tape, red brake light tape on both sides of this. This is really smart. So this is a simple, cheap way to put tail light tape on it. It doesn't attract the bugs. Yeah. And that light is so bright you could see back in time. So yes. it, yeah. It, yeah, it, it was like calling to... Mars and beyond. <laughs> yes, Absolutely. For sure. Now I see you have an interesting modification here. Uh, <laughs> Um, that is um, thanks to Brooks. He put down NC bound. NC bound. Yep, fr from Minnesota to here. I like your little stabilizing risers. Well, we heard that it was a good thing not to deploy them all the way out. Yeah, they have a lot more stabilizing ability when you give them a nice angle here. It gives you more than when you stand them up all the way. So that's really that's really a nice design. And then in the design. mountains, you've got some rock and some not. So in order to keep things parallel. Absolutely. We've not really, we took out the K2 cooler. But otherwise, everything's pretty much the same. Now, I love this, and this, to me, has somebody who uses the trailer a lot written all over it. Yes. I can tell right off the bat, like, the things that we get rid of and the things that are important. So you're, you're using the igloo for some extra water. Yeah. It also helps with your tongue weight, depending yes. what you're doing on the front. Yes. And so it, whenever I have access to water, I refill this. This was in my garage unused, and I was like, hey, that'll fit, let's make it work. That's perfect. Now, if anyone watching this doesn't have a bushwhacker, we don't have city water hookups. So sometimes to fill the reservoir, this container with a gas style spout is like a lifesaver. Yes. You don't have to pack up camp and move the whole trailer. Yeah. You bring five gallons back, I love yeah. it. My husband cut this open so that we could get in and use this. And you're making good use he of that. He moved the vent up and off of the side so that we had room underneath there. Very, very nice. So it was handy. And I added um, reflective tape. That'll come in handy Just as in well. Just in case the, the echo Kurt brake thing comes yeah. loose and I don't have brake lights, <laughs> I still have a safety second back up very nice so can you let's go up front and show me that echo because i know a lot of people are using that kurt device uh okay. the bluetooth brake control i think i'd love to hear about that okay so my husband put a bungee on to help secure it and then it's the um an app on my phone yeah, so for me, and I've talked about this before on the channel a little bit, this is one of those devices that you have to give a mixed review. Yeah. It's like you see that Dina modified it with a little bungee. They fall off, and it's not rare. When you are looking at the reviews for these, it is super 
super common that they fall off and you end up losing them. I, I made a joke once that the easiest way to get one of these is just look beside the highway yeah, and you'll yeah. find them. But now the upside of these, you don't have to wire your tow vehicle to control your brakes. When this plugs into your vehicle, it uses a Bluetooth to activate the brakes on your trailer. All the bushwhackers have magnetic brakes on them and then you don't have to put an actual brake control module in your car. Right. So it is nifty, but just make sure you strap it in real yes, good. And yes. have you had any sync issues with your phone? Have you lost connectivity? I I don't know if it was sync. I've had I've had to take it in um, after one of our trips to the manufacturer, not the manufacturer, the dealer to get some warranty work because the, the wheels were locking up yeah. when I was using this, yeah. like bad. And I was getting ready to go on a trip by myself and I needed that. So they replaced, I think it was both hubs okay. that they replaced. So it doesn't seem like it was an issue with the Kurt control or more probably an issue with the brakes that they were biting yeah. pretty yeah. good. Okay. Otherwise it's been, yeah, we went up Blue Ridge and I put it on. Otherwise I've been pulling it without it. But, so yeah. one of the standout things with Dina's setup here is she is decking out this outdoor space and <laughs> I am, I'm into it. <laughs> so the base of your system is what? What is your awning? It's an eight by eight Iron Man four by four. And then I've got the extension Iron Man wall. So this Iron Man is the awning that folds up to the top and the arms come down. This is an aftermarket additional piece. Yeah. But man, that is nice. And it, it gives tapers privacy. The, tapers the water away from the campsite. Looks like it gives you a nice seating area and yeah. privacy. Yeah. So I love I this. Door. These are all signs <laughs> of people that go camping a lot as you get into clothes pins and hanging things any chance yep. you can get. Uh, I see a really nice fridge here. What are we working with? You know, I don't know the name brand. It That's was on perfect. Amazon yeah. and it was an inexpensive and I got it damaged. So I got it even less. Nice. That's You're always a good nice. pro tip <laughs> is to shop around and uh, bushwhacker folks don't mind scratch and dent sales. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and in your hand, Husky totes. So that's a Home Depot score. Home Depot, yep, yep. It looks waterproof. It is. It and is they're waterproof. stackable. They are stackable. And then they've got different sizes. I just got the smaller because it's just me, so it's easy for me to tote. Oh, it's, and if you left it out in the rain or something, it no wasn't. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. So and it's, I, food, it's got a gasket, so even bugs aren't going to get into it. Very nice. So uh, I think that is a good score, especially when you're playing camper Tetris with our tow vehicles. Yes, you got to yes, yeah. jam everything back in. Now you're on this trip doing a, a solo trip. So you have your inside set up for one. One. Yep. And this was an addition after I left because the first campground was uh -huh. Bug Haven. And that so was magnetic bug. screens. Yeah. But now I love this. This is what I do a lot of times winter camping is you set the inside up for one and it gives you this nice area to store things. We're not winter camping now, but the AC is there. And, and again, it gives you so much more space than when you have two people and a giant dog. And we changed over the door, over the air, air conditioner. So it, it did open up and we changed it to open down uh -huh. to create extra space. See, these are the little things that I wish the manufacturers would pay attention to. Um, I see some companies do, but it's simple mods like that just make it a lot easier to yeah. use the trailer and they're not difficult or expensive. Nope. I'm seeing some sort of command hook with yep. a, just the perfect size uh, waste basket. Lightweight, packable. And those command hooks, I've had mine on the trailer for a lot of miles that you haven't had a fall off or anything nope. me neither hot nope. cold winter summer rain it, it seems to hold up so i am just blown away with this campsite uh now this is not arb what do nope. we got here <laughs> it's something i found at a yard sale it's a reflective to help try to keep the heat out very and if nice. it rains down, it also helps keep the rain from splashing oh, down. Okay, so yeah, it definitely has some refractive yeah. abilities there. And you're just handy with the bungees and the quick connects. Um, I like it. Yeah. So what is your favorite part of your whole setup? Oh. 
I know that's a tough question, but that what is. do you like about having a bushwhacker? The versatility, because we live in the mountains and I like knowing that I'm safe. I like knowing I have four seasons that I can camp comfortably. I mean, we've, we've camped under the snow and that was great when I was younger, but it's not so nice now that I'm a little older. So the Bushwhacker has AC and heat, heat that you can use off grid with the propane. Yes. Um, like it is an insulated trailer. It's got some clearance. It's, I use mine in the winter, so definitely a pretty nice setup, but let me just uh, compliment you on the ingenuity and uh, really expanding the space of a teardrop. We don't, we didn't buy a camper to hang out indoors. No. So when you have this ability to make kind of the best of tent camping and the best of RV camping. Yes. Right. And, and it helps keep the mosquito repellent indoors too. I've got a coil going uh, in there so it keeps it there where it belongs. So it, well, it's clear that you're out here using this thing. Can I ask you how much travel you've been doing? A lot. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Where have you been in the last couple of weeks? Uh, Currently, last... we're in just outside of uh, Asheville and Hot Springs, North Carolina. So we camp a lot around Idaho. We've been to um, Utah. We've been to Oregon, a couple different places in Oregon, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota and all of the states in between Minnesota and here. Okay. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to go to Georgia when this is all well, done. Well, that is clear from the campsite that you have. Well, thank you so much yeah. for the tour and uh, you know the mods and showing us around your site.